Hello everybody! I want to talk about a whole new world and this may help some of us or some of you who are struggling with parental estrangement and you're not quite sure what the heck you're gonna do if you're gonna survive. Uh, you're in a really bad place. You haven't really taken the time to digest. It is 24-7 on your mind and you don't think you can move forward because your world has been in an upheaval and it's like you have survived a tsunami and you don't even know where the lifeboat is. I'm going to say that I've talked about the reframing, rewiring therapy and all that, but I think when I looked at my life in decades, I looked at my life when I was at home with my parents and siblings, and I said the first two decades of my life were at home. Then I left and joined the military and became a mom. So then the second two decades were raising my daughters. And then at the age of 40, they were estranged and I was facing the next two decades or the next decade or the next five minutes. I thought, what in the heck am I gonna do? And what I decided to do was first I went back and started to rediscover things that I really liked. Or I, I took up different hobbies, talked to friends, found a good therapist. I had gone to Al-Anon um, years prior when my girls were little, so I dove into those principles. And I decided to give birth to myself. To myself as an individual, a woman, Someone who was without a partner, even if you have a partner, you can do this. It's going to be odd for other people because you you may start saying and doing things that were out of character. But I had to give birth to myself. And that meant putting the estrangement on hold. Just, just taking a break from the estrangement. I know it's hard because we have Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthdays, holidays, etc. The first ones are the toughest, but... Taking a break from the estrangement, disconnecting from social media, and really just focusing on myself, which a lot of people, and I'm not just saying it's just women, but women in general are taught, you know, you grow up, become a mom, and then you sacrifice for your family. And I'm not saying dads don't sacrifice, but all I know is that a lot of us don't know what to do because we've never been told it's okay to take care of yourself. It's okay to do things for you. It's okay to do things you like. And... Not have to think about other people. It's just odd. It's foreign. And so it's it's a foreign language. It's the estranged mom language. <laughs> estranged parent language. <laughs> it's really it's really weird. So I just want to say, what did I start to do? I, I went rollerblading. I fell. I went ice skating. I fell. I, I learned how to crochet or knit. I learned how to crochet correctly. And I started to crochet and knit blankets and all that. I started to make things for friends. I started to get hobbies and I joined a, every Wednesday and meet up with women and sit at a, it was a bar slash cafe type thing. And we just eat, drink and be merry. I didn't, I don't drink alcohol and drive. So I started to do new things and I started to bring, I, I started to give birth to myself as an adult with all the experience that I had, all the, whether it's through trauma or life. I started to give birth to myself and I have to tell you it took a while to get over the anger the hate the grief the sadness the loss and I'm not gonna say I don't experience those things but they don't rule my life they don't rule my thoughts they don't I don't lose sleep over it anymore <laughs> I have a whole new world I gave birth to a whole new person it's amazing so I wanted to share this that there is hope I was a single I, I divorced when my girls were 9 and 10. I raised them with someone who did not, who was angry about the divorce. I had to, I raised them on my own. Their dad saw them one Saturday a month. I'm, I'm just laying out facts. I'm not angry. Gave me more time with my girls. But I was truly a single parent. And he paid child support and had him on his medical insurance and everything. But I just want to say I was with my girls 95% of the time. Never thought I would be in this position. I thought I'd be a mom and grandma for, for life. And I still am. 
but I've given myself to other people and other people love me. <laughs> Give birth to yourself. It's a whole new world. Sing the song. A whole new world. A new blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I forgot the words all of a sudden. But anyways, that's all I wanted to talk about and I'll be back.